Hi, my name is Jai Niasi. So today I will present my topics in the National Conference on the Humanity and Social Science uh, with the title of uh, Tourism Density Effects on the Environmental Human Index Evidence in Asian Countries. So for the view of my studies, uh, first, uh, as we know that um, currently the travel and tourism is one of the world's largest economic sector which generates approximately 10.4% of world GDP and this tourism activity is supported not only the local community but as well as the economy of the country to earn it from domestic and foreign visitors. However, the overcrowded of tourism may lead to the conflicts uh, with the local when the visitor upgrade local and therefore significant impact especially on the environment. Um, this phenomenon closely linked to the concept of over tourists, so which are concerned not only by the society but as well as the government. And currently the government is trying to quantify the performance of one country in uh, reducing the global stress by using the environmental performance index to measure it, which I will be using in our study. Um, so we try to focus on the uh, tourism Effects, especially on the Asian countries. So, why Asian countries? Uh, so, as we know, that Asian country is rapidly growing in terms of the tourism activity. When we look into or we compare between 2006 and 2016, uh, there are double the numbers, uh, the growing numbers of the visitor arrivals, okay? uh, as well as the tourism density index, the international arrival ratio. This shows that they are increasing, significantly increasing okay, the tourism index or TDI. Not only that, um, currently Asian is emerged as the engine of the global economics. Not only in Asia, but the global economics. However, this uh, affected uh, uh, various environmental issues such as pollution or scarcity of water and so on and so forth. And, Nevertheless, uh, until today, there are very few or limited uh, studies that observe the association between the uh, tourism density and the performance of Asian countries. Okay, there are Asian countries, uh, even though they are lines in the same regions, nevertheless, um, the cross country dependency and the structural homogeneity or the country specifics is less considered by previous study, which is um, quite important because they will, this will produce a price for result is not considered this too um, determinant. And uh, this study as I mentioned just now uh, is important uh, to us and also the policy maker to come up with the strategy to cut the pollution as currently as serious economics and policy requirements. Again why it is important to conduct a such study is that uh, previous study is basically using the uh, numbers of tourists as a determinant or the, the, the proxy of uh, the tourism effect. Nevertheless, according to Pires in 2013, the tourism effect is strongly based on the size of the country and the capacity of the country. So, therefore, the tourism density index that we used in the study, uh, which the ratio between the tourism, tourists, and tourists might uh, produce more clear picture on the effects of tourism. Uh, not only that, this study is not only provide um, at least a guideline to the policy method, but also for industry as well as stakeholders. And due to the fact that the previous studies um, is um, affected by problems such as indigenity, indigenity, and post See? So this study try to uh, overcome these um, so-called uh, issues and produce more clear pictures. And therefore, this study try to examine the tourism density and the foreign index access in Asia for a period of 2002 until 2017. Then I will review a few articles as well as the total panel point of view. Uh, the tourism pollution nexus. Uh, overview. I uh, so-called summarize into two points. Number one, the international tourism 
uh, transport uh, as highlighted by you, uh, and some of the exams. Uh, postulated that the um, tourism will induce more transportation security, which, according to few researchers, that transportation is the major contributor to situation. And uh, a few studies also believe that tourism is a subsector of services sector to services sector, which imply by seeing and analyze that services sector uh, can reduce or diminish the effects of uh, pollution or the negative effects of the residents or environments. And uh, study by uh, uh, Kazarangi and this now D in 2002 says that when country become uh, wealthier, uh, they will not increase further, so they will invest uh, their profit which plan to protect the environment. Uh, when we look into another empirical study, so few studies like here is, is uh, believe that uh, the tourism has positive effect on the environment, uh, while few studies uh, conducted uh, believe that they have negative uh, uh, so sessions Environment. Uh, a few studies uh, find some evidence of non linear or EKC or molecular health. And these studies, I'm using 10 Asian countries, uh, which the chosen group country due to the other data of API. And I construct my models using simple statistical equation here. Uh, this one is the model environmental performance index of API. This one is the I or tourism density index, and I input several uh, control variables and post by a few uh, studies. Uh, here's the GDP per capita, which proxy to the economic development, as well as the uh, uh, FDI for that investment and uh, organization effects. Okay, so I'm using the panel relations extended. Uh, to disco and crash and errors which are robust to the heteroplasticity as well as the cross dependency. Okay, so uh, I also just summarize this test. This is basically a pre test. So I test the unit groups as well as cross sectional dependency test. So what I can summarize here is that uh, uh, there are only a temporary effects in terms of the shock in these variables. Okay, and in the cross sectional dependency test, so this result shows that there are cross dependency among countries in Asia. So the result shows that uh, basically we have separate two uh, estimations. One is POLS, or so the panel POLS, and the second one is the fixed price. Okay, so for POLS, so uh, the TDI show to be positively related to the the performance as well as FDI and GDP, which is uh, improved the performance. Nevertheless, based on the uh, fixed effects, shows that uh, the TDI found to be negatively related to the environmental performance, while GDP still consistently improved the other performance, while FDI administration found to be not significant. Uh, however, uh, because we are testing also the human test, then this test here, the p-value is less than 5%, which means that uh, the fixed effects is more real. Uh, so then we're using the fixed effects result for our conclusions. So what we can conclude here is that uh, the first one, due to an increase in numbers of visitors, it will lead to an increase in the tourism density ratio, which um, will uh, induce or lead into more uh, lowering the environmental performance impacts. And this due to the fact that uh, the tourism uh, tourism activity will lead to overcrowding in certain areas and especially when the establishment of typical tourism which only focus on business or profit. And this also uh, due to the tourism drive carbon emissions which cause increased demand for transportation emission, uh, uh, which transportation is one of the main contributors to emissions. Uh, 
um, and also the infrastructure that will for high capacity that will be sufficient only for the local, which the, the development of infrastructure is only focusing on the local development and without considering the uh, so-called uh, tourists. And maybe due to the unpaid expansions and excess developments. Another conclusion is the economic development proxy by the GDP per capita found to be significant positive effects on uh, environmental performance. This is my due to the facts that according to your studies that uh, when certain countries or Asian countries become wealthier, they will reinvest their profit into uh, better protection of environments and due to the fact that tourism is a subsector of service sector which is um, have lesser impact, uh, negative impact to the environment compared to other sectors, for example, in the sector, like the sector. The third one, the FDI and globalization found to be not statistically significant. Um, okay, for the recommendations, uh, then we need to set a strategic long-term plan for sustainable tourism, including the carrying capacity for specific area and attractions. So this can be done by determining the acceptable level of tourism density, as well as we need to do more further investment, we need to do more investment, more expanding public goods such as waste management and renewable energy. And the expansion of first support, especially on the, uh, the transportation, uh, we need to shift that into more eco-friendlies, uh, for example, by cost pricing of carbon emissions, as uh, proposed by a few studies, for example, some scheme. And uh, by that, uh, hopefully in the future, we can uh, go further with this to especially to determine the extra levels of tourism density in a certain area, not only Asian but other, 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 other areas also. So uh, by that, uh, thank you very much.